What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video guys and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up your tracking pixel from Facebook on your ClickFunnels account. Now I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with and they kind of get confused so I kind of just want to make this quick little video to show you what you need to do in order to get this set up. So there's two ways to, show, uh, to actually do this and I'll show you the first way. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your funnel, you want to click edit page here. Um, and you want to click on settings and from there while that loads up uh, you want to make sure that you also have your business.facebook.com account open that's going to be your business Facebook account where you can grab your tracking pixel and we'll do that in a second but I just want to show you where this is going to go so if we go to settings here and we go to tracking code you can see that I don't have a tracking code here and the reason for that is because I actually put my tracking code on the funnel wide settings so what that means is if we exit out of here really quickly what that means is if I go to settings here and I go to head tracking code and I pull this out you can see that I have my Facebook tracking code here and the reason why it is here is because I wasn't uh, specifically tracking any pages I was just wanting the pixel to track every single page so when you put the code here that is um, what it does it tracks every single page now some people like to put the code individual on individual pages so we can also do that but just know that this is an option where you can put the code so to get your code what you want to do is go to Facebook um, your business Facebook account so you go to business.facebook.com log in and then what we're gonna do is head to pixels and from there we can grab the pixel and um, I'm gonna have to turn this off because that is a blocker that's saying no ads please <laughs> um, so that doesn't help but what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in the right account um, and you can see here that this is tracking all the uh, all the people who are visiting my site so I'm gonna click on Jelani the marketers pixel and that's gonna grab the pixel data that I need um, and what we can do is click set up and if you set up a new uh, ad account you're gonna have to do this process first before you see any of like the data um, but what we're gonna do is click manually install the code ourselves and we're gonna grab this code here um, you could include advanced matching um, it depends on what you're trying to do if you're e-commerce I would include advanced matching um, I haven't really noticed a difference but apparently it's supposed to give you higher quality leads so you could just turn that on um, or turn it off depending on what you want to do uh, so what you want to do is copy the code to the clipboard and depending on if you want to track individual pages or if you want to just track the whole entire funnel you could put it there or we can go back to our funnel that we were just editing we can click edit page and we want to go to settings go to tracking code and you want to put this code Facebook says to put the code in the header but ClickFunnels support has said that you should put codes in the footer because it can mess up their API so I always put the code in the footer um, so you put that there and depending if you want to track this page it's going to be a page view but let's say if you want to track a view content what you can do is just copy this track and then you just put view content all right so what that's going to do is going to track this individual page now let's say if you had a custom conversion now this seems this might be a little advanced for some people but let's just say that you want to have a custom conversion on this page and a custom conversion is something that you are tracking so if I go to custom conversions I can create a new custom conversion here and we can give this uh, a name so let's say we want to track this specific URL um, and then add a rule and we're gonna have the URL contains um, so we would have to grab this URL um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to Jelani the marketer.com and we'll grab this URL so it's going to track that specific page we can actually put contains or equals um, 
let's do equals just for this. All right, and we're gonna name this. So we're gonna say Jelani the marketer. Let's actually for sure say JTM. And in the category, we can you know uh, select add payment info, add to cart, add to wish list, complete registration, initiate checkout, lead purchase, search, view content. Let's say that the person is a lead because I want them to go to a different. Uh, let's say this is the opt-in page and I want them to go to the thank you page then they will be a lead first and then once they go to that thank you page I know they completed the registration because they filled out their information so let's say they're a lead um, and there's no value so we can create this so let's say JTM leads here let's create that now what we can do what we can do here um, let's get out of here is grab the name of this all right, and this could be for any custom conversion, and we could go back to our ClickFunnels page, and let's just paste this here really quickly. Copy this, and what we wanted to do is track the custom conversion we just made, so we would do this. Boom, All right, and just make make this line up. So now it's going to track that custom conversion that we just made. Um, and that's just a little something else extra you can do depending on what you're trying to achieve But just know that you can track individual uh, custom conversions and custom um, Facebook indicators on individual funnel steps, but you can also do that on the funnel wide funnel steps now I wouldn't recommend doing this Technique where you have the custom conversions on the funnel wide steps because it's going to track every single step as if that at each step is a lead right so if we have a custom conversion um, that's a lead and we put that inside of the funnel wide settings then it's going to say that every single funnel step inside of our funnel is a lead step and that's not the case for specific funnels right you might have an opt-in page that goes to a thank you page and that first step might be a lead the second step might be complete registration um, you might have an e-commerce uh, funnel where the first step is initiate checkout and then the second step is you know order completed and then etc so if you did that within the funnel wide settings it would not track specific conversions it would track um, for everything so just make sure that you are putting the code where it needs to be depending on what you're trying to achieve um, but I just want to make this quick video to show you guys what you can do and how you can put the Facebook tracking code inside of your click funnel pages um, please let me know if this helped you out uh, once you put the code, all you have to do is click save and then what you want to do is just test it out by going back to your Facebook business account and then seeing if there's some activity. It does take some time for that activity status to change, so just give it some time, play around with it, go to the site and see if it's tracking it. Uh, another thing you can do is download, if you're on Chrome, you can get the Facebook Pixel Helper uh, extension which will tell you which um, conversions and which actual tracking information is on those specific pages so definitely get that that will help you um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe because I want to give a lot of tips like this for your click funnel pages and I would love for you to see them and if you have any suggestions for future videos please leave a comment below I would really appreciate it thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye